I made a recent trip to visit family in Prague in the Czech Republic. I love visiting Old Town Square. The Charles Bridge entrance dominates the scenery with its ornate artistry. From there, it is a short walk down narrow, quaint streets. I can't even wrap my head around the rich history here. A jeweler in a jewelry store pointed out when his store was founded as he explained he was a 12th generation jeweler. Those who love to make jewelry, like myself, will recognize this name. The best crystals are produced in the Czech Republic and are valued around the world. The Old Town Square is always filled with activities and things to see. The Old Town Hall still bears damage from World War II. This corner of the building shows where one wing was destroyed in the bombings. My favorite place is the, yes, you see that right, the Chocolate Museum, where you can get a cup of the best hot chocolate you've ever tasted. I've been trying for five years to master the recipe. Prague was the center of the pre-Reformation movement. John Huss, or Jan Hus, was the priest who promoted Reformation themes a hundred years before Martin Luther. In fact, Luther used Huss's writing as inspiration. A statue of John Huss was erected in 1915 to commemorate him. As luck would have it, a pigeon made himself at home on the statue's head and refused to move. So we will just have to deal with it and move on. The chalice here represents the cup of Christ, which should be available to all believers and not just the priests. John Huss became a symbol of dissidence and strength against oppressive regimes. When Czechoslovakia was under communist rule, people would sit at this statue as a way of expressing opposition to communist rule. 27 crosses are embedded in the pavement near the old town hall to commemorate the 27 Protestant martyrs who lost their lives here for their faith. A lot of history has transpired here in Old Town Square. Today, the square is filled with people enjoying the peace and freedom that in the past was so hard won. We must never forget the bravery of men like John Huss and countless others who stood up against oppression. Freedom is never free and always carries a high price.